Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sienna and today we are going to be playing a game that probably no one asked for, but I'm going to be playing Sakura Santa today. This game is a bit suggestive, so viewer discretion is advised. This video contains content that may not be suitable for younger viewers. If you decide to stay, you are watching at your own risk. There are a lot of Sakura games, but this one is the holiday one and we're gonna be playing it. So let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna hit start. Now this is a visual novel, so it's going to be a story-based game. Why does it have to be December? It isn't the night before Christmas yet, but maybe it heard all the Christmas music and came early because there's nothing stirring, not even a mouse. I get to be all alone at home. No, not like that movie. I mean in the in an apartment. Name's Koji. Moved out to go to university. Pretty decent university, best I could get. Feels like that's all I could get though. Everything else hasn't gone my way. I'm not very good at social skills, I guess. I mean, I try to introduce myself to people and be nice to them. So I'm not sure why no one is ever talking to me. Maybe it's bad luck, or maybe I'm just boring. Maybe there's something more I could do to open up to people. I'm not really comfortable around town yet. It's still a strange place. I guess that's why I'm not getting into the Christmas spirit. When I think of Christmas, I always think of family and friends. And right now, I'm all alone. Maybe I'm thinking about this too much. Normally, I don't dwell on this sort of thing. Still, it would be nice if I had some company. I guess it's just hard to adjust moving away from home. Classes have been okay, my grades are fine, but I keep hearing people say networking, 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 or at least you should meet friends. And this, this isn't exactly Christmassy. Black coffee, an empty apartment, the hum of the city outside the window. What's the point of a holiday if there isn't, if there's nothing to celebrate? or no one to celebrate with. I should think of something to do. With the university over for winter break, I've spent what feels like forever alone. Maybe I should try family? See what my parents are doing, see what my brother is doing. Ah, uh, let's see what my brother's doing. It's been a while since I've talked to my brother. He's older by two years and already left to go out in the world. We haven't spent Christmas together the last two years. We had a Christmas tradition, I guess. We played Dungeon Rambler 2 together. Probably don't have the old Arcadian battle station anymore though. Maybe I can get one at a used game store. It's our Christmas tradition after all. You're never too old to enjoy a game of Dungeon Rumbler 2. Let me just find his number. I think Christmas will be a lot of fun this year, assuming I can call him anyways. Alright man, I guess we'll have to do it another year. I hope you have fun with your girlfriend's family. That plan went out the window. My brother's going overseas with his girlfriend this year. I don't talk to him much these days, not really sure where they met. He sounded happy on the phone though, so I'm happy too. The two of them seem to really be getting along well together. He did seem like he really wanted to play Dungeon Rumbler 2 though. I guess he, that's his... I guess that I guess that he's as nostalgic for that game as I am. Did I really use up all my options already? I don't want to spend Christmas alone. Clock goes up another number, then another number, and another. This feels wrong. This isn't Christmas. I remember being with my family, having a good time. But right now, nothing, not a zip. What do I do now? I don't have anything else in mind. We just spend Christmas alone this year. Then it hits me what that would really be like. Eating shrink wrap fruitcakes, staring out my window at all the people having fun. No, I won't let that happen. I'm not going to let those thoughts take over. No one wants to be around someone miserable. So I'll keep my head held high. I'm not going to let this get to me. But I gotta admit, It'd be nice to have someone with me this Christmas. So let's break it down. I could go out and volunteer or something or try to attend an event. 
Anything would be better than just rotting away in this apartment. I think I'll go for a walk. It'll help me think. The shopping district downtown will have plenty of festival lights, I'm sure. Maybe that will help me getting feeling in the Christmas spirit. I like that music. <laughs> it's a pretty short walk to downtown from where I live. Sure enough, it's busy as ever. Christmas brings everyone out, I guess. Even though there are a lot more people here, though, I feel even more alone than before. There's a crowd here, but it's not like I know any of them. It seems like walking is just making me think about it this more. Maybe I... Maybe if I got out of downtown, but where else would I go? It's not like anything is waiting for me in my apartment. What else can I just sit down and just think to my... I could go to the park, I guess. I walk by a break. I walk by a break into a small footpath. It leads to a woods, a park technically, but more like the edge of town. I don't know where it ends though. Seems like it climbs some hills on the way. I mean, I don't have anything better to do, so I guess I'll go this way. Oh right, I remember now. There's supposed to be a shrine at the end of this path. <laughs> Maybe I could ask to get my fortune told. Or I could ask for the blessing of the shrine, maybe wishes to come true, for that requires an offering and my pockets are, well they're not exactly jingling, but I managed to find some. I mean, it's just symbolic, right? It's the thought that counts. I don't normally go for this stuff, but I would feel sort of reassuring, I guess. So maybe the shrine would be worth visiting. I don't lose anything if it doesn't work, right? Well, except the few coins, but my spare change is better off keeping a roof over someone else's head than just sitting there, right? There's a shrine there. Kind of classy. Kind of empty, though. Isn't there usually some kind of priest at the shrine? Well, I guess I can make an offering anyways. Find the offering box and throw the coins in. I don't know any, um, ritual, I guess. I guess I can try praying anyways, right? Close my eyes, put my hands together. I'd like to have a friend to spend Christmas with. I have no idea if it actually helped or not. But I feel a bit better, I guess. Even if spirits don't exist, doing this feels comforting. Just then the priest calls to me. Hello, what brings you here, young man? Oh, I, uh, I was just making an offering. Ah, uh, good. It's nice to see young people around here again. I work hard to keep everything together, but not many come by. The priest is an older man, and can't help but notice a limp as he walks. Are you okay? What do you mean? Oh, you mean my leg. I injured it a while ago. Doctor told me to rest, but I'm the only one here to take care of things. He's been pushing himself and making it worse. No, I'm not just going to let that happy poor guy needs a break. I don't think that translated right at all. Do you need help with anything around the shrine? My schedule isn't exactly crowded, so I have plenty of time to spare. If I can help out with things, maybe he'll finally have a chance to recover. I... I suppose I could use your help, yes? In fact, could you shovel the snow off the path? Sure, I can do that for you. He flashes a worn, drawn smile. Thank you. Well, that didn't take much time. The priest seemed pretty happy about it, too. Oh, thank you, young man. I would have taken twice the time. Listen, I don't want you to hurt yourself or anything. I'll come by every few days. Let me do the hard stuff, okay? Oh, you're too kind. I wish more people your age were like you. Like me, huh? I don't think I'm really anything special. Being special isn't the point. Anyone can be kind, but not many actually choose to. That makes you exceptional anyways. I guess you're right. Anyways, I have other things to do. Sure, I'd love to. No, don't worry about it. It's just old man business, nothing too hard. You've done more than enough. Do come again sometime though. Don't worry, I will. As he walks back into the shrine, I feel a bit odd. Was that because of the wish I made? Or is he just really nice? I felt so easy to talk to him. Well, I'm happy I was able to do something, anything for somebody. As I walk away from the shrine, I hear something rustling off the path. Eh? Probably just some raccoons. But I'm curious anyway. 
start pulling branches aside to see what's there. It's a girl! One with eyes that seem to shine like the stars. I haven't ever seen anyone who seems so happy. Her smile seems so completely honest, but she has fox ears? Wait, whoa, that's a tail! You're so cute! Excuse me? You were so nice to the old man. He's pretty lonely, you know. At least when I'm not around. My eyes wander from her brightly colored tail over to her bo- uh, Hey, didn't you ever hear about the myth of Actation? Eyes up. I eyes up. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't worry. I'm not going to sick my dogs on you. Actually, just the opposite. I kind of like you, so go ahead. Uh, oh, okay. I guess she just gave me permission to stare. So, uh, what's with the tail? Are you cosplaying or something? <laughs> I'm a fox spirit. Of course I have a tail. Is she serious? It's my shrine. I'm the one you made the offering to. So I heard your wish, being a spirit and all. You did? Yep, you're in luck. One time wish fulfillment service. I mean, the coins didn't impress me much. But what you did for the priest? Real nice back there. So what goes around comes around. I never really thought of it that way. I thought you just did good things because it was the right thing to do. You should, but sometimes the world is listening and takes notice. I mean, you wanted to have a friend for Christmas, right? Yeah, that's right. So you're feeling a bit lonely? I, I guess I am. Could I be your friend? Her ears perk up at that moment, illustrating her excitement. You'd be my friend? Why wouldn't I be? Well, I don't know if she's real or not. Or if she's really a fox spirit like she says she is. Though I'm not sure I really mind one way or another. If she's here, of course, I'm going to visit the shrine. Sure, I'd like you to be my friend. And I'd love to be yours. My name's Akina. I don't know yours yet. I'm Koji. It's nice to meet you, Koji. Her ears twitch with excitement. Are you free tomorrow? Tomorrow? I, I guess so. I don't have anything planned for the next week. Then let's go on a date. A date? Why a date? Because I like nice people and you're a nice person. So I like you, why else? I guess that makes sense. Well, that isn't really what I was. Oh, you don't want to go out with me? Her ears and tail droop heavily. She looks at me with those sparkling eyes. I, I can't resist them. Okay, okay, I'll go on a date with you. I only really wanted a friend, but... It's settled then, we'll go on a date. Of course. I have some things to take care of in the spirit realm, so I'll be busy for the rest of the day. So I can't spend today with you yet. Even though I'd love to. Yeah, spirit realm, right. I haven't really expected, accepted the fact that she's supposedly a fox spirit, though I guess it's harmless either way, right? I should probably get going too. Okay, I'll see you soon, Koji. Just come to the shrine when you're ready. Any time of the week. See you later, Akina. She turns and bounds away, her tail a red swish behind her. What just happened there? I guess I've got a new friend. I'm going to keep walking around town though. Such a nice day, I'd like to actually enjoy it. I think that's a good stopping point for the first part. We met Akina, the little fox spirit, and hopefully we'll see what misadventures come from that. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I post new videos every Monday and Friday, and sometimes bonus content in the week. Um, I hope that you guys like this, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!